Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss the term 1 general science question paper of Rithifla school. This is for class 8. So, in this video, we will discuss particularly the MCQ part. Okay. So, the first question here is, in figure, a boy is shown pushing the box from right to left. The force of friction will act on the box from right to left, from left to right, vertically downwards, vertically upwards. So, here the direction of the force of friction is being asked. Now, we know that the direction of the force of friction is always opposite to the direction of motion. So, since the boy is pushing the box from right to left, the direction of the force of friction will be the opposite. That is from left to right. So, here the right answer is option B from left to right. The next question, this the loudness of sound depends on so the loudness of sound depends on its amplitude now amplitude is the maximum distance traveled by a wave from its mean position so more the amplitude more is the loudness of sound the next question pitch of sound is determined by its now pitch of the sound is determined by its frequency so frequency is the number of oscillations or the number of vibrations per second and more the frequency more is the pitch or shrillness of the sound then moving on to the next question number four a water tank has four taps fixed at points a b c d as shown in the figure the water will flow out at the same pressure from taps at so here uh, there's a tank full of water and there are four uh, taps a b c and d now the question is the water will flow out at the same pressure from which two taps so for this we have to know that liquids exert the same pressure at equal depths okay when the depth of the two outlets are the same then the force uh, then the pressure will be same okay so here we can see that b and c these two outlets are at the same depth so the water will flow out from these two uh, taps with the same pressure okay so the right answer will be option a b and c next question number five two objects repel each other this repulsion could be due to now, why do objects repel each other? Now, option A is frictional force only. No, because frictional force is not the right answer. Uh, option B is electrostatic force only. So, yes, because of electrostatic force, two objects may either repel each other or they may attract each other. Then option C is magnetic force only. So, yes, this may also be the right answer because there is both magnetic force of attraction as well as magnetic force of repulsion. So, the right answer will be D. So, either a magnetic or an electrostatic force. Then next question number 6. A boy rolls a rubber ball on a wooden surface. The ball travels a short distance before coming to rest. To make the same ball travel longer distance before coming to rest, he may. So, what he will do? So, a boy rolls a rubber ball on a wooden surface. Then the ball travels a short distance and then it comes to rest. It comes to rest because of the force of friction uh, that exists between the rubber ball and the uh, wooden surface. Now, if the ball has to travel some more distance, then the wooden surface should be made smooth. We have to make, make the surface smooth just to reduce friction. Okay. So, here the right answer will be option C, sprinkle talcum powder on the wooden surface. So, so after adding uh, uh, talcum powder on the, on the wooden surface, then the surface will become a bit slippery and the force of friction will reduce. So, the ball can travel some more distance. Okay. Then next question number seven. An object is vibrating at 50 hertz. What is its time period? So, here the time period is 1 by frequency. Okay. So, time period is equal to 1 divided by 50 hertz. So, the right answer will be option A, 0 0.02 seconds. Then, question number 8. The strongest synthetic fiber is? So, the strongest synthetic fiber is nylon. Because nylon is even stronger than steel wool okay so uh, moving on to question number nine wood pulp is used to make so here the wood pulp is used to make right answer is rayon so rayon is a synthetic fiber which is made from wood pulp then question number 10 fiber produced in factories is called 
man-made fiber, synthetic fiber, natural fiber. So fiber which is produced in the factories are not natural fibers, they are man-made fiber as well as synthetic fiber. So option D, both A and B, A, sorry A and C is the right answer. Then question number 11, name the gas evolved when magnesium reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid. So what happens when magnesium reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid? We know that magnesium is a metal and when metal reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, a pop sound is produced and that sound is due to the evolution of hydrogen gas. So the right answer here is option C, hydrogen. The next question, number uh, 12. Out of this, which one is more reactive with water? Sodium, magnesium, iron and copper. So here all these are metals and if we go to the reactivity series, we will find that the sodium is in the uh, higher position. It's, it's more reactive than magnesium, iron and copper. So sodium is more reactive with water. The right answer will be sodium. The next question number 13. Non-metals react with water, do not react with water, both A and B. So non-metals generally do not react with water. Okay, so the right answer will be option B, do not react with water. Number 14, when sulfur dioxide is dissolved in water, sulfur is formed, sulfur trioxide is formed, sulfuric acid is formed, sulfurous acid is formed. Now when sulfur dioxide is dissolved in water, sulfurous acid is formed. Okay, so if we go to our NCRT textbook, science textbook, there we will find an, an experiment to prove that uh, oxides of non-metals are acidic in nature where uh, where if we burn sulfur powder then sulfur dioxide is formed and this sulfur dioxide when it reacts with water when it is dissolved in water then sulfurous acid is formed okay so the right answer will be sulfurous acid next question number 15 what helps the rise of bread or dosa dough here the right answer will be growth of yeast cells now, when we made, make uh, dosa or, or dosa dough or bread dough, then uh, we apply some yeast cells. Now, uh, uh, this yeast cells will rise the uh, dough, that is bread dough or the dosa dough. This is because yeast cells will uh, will uh, multiply, okay? They will multiply, they will respire, uh, they will undergo respiration, that which is anaerobic respiration in absence of oxygen and it, and it will produce carbon dioxide gas. And this carbon dioxide gas is responsible for increasing the volume or, the, or rising the uh, bread or the dosa dough. Okay, so here the right answer is option C, growth of yeast cells. Okay, the next question is, question number 16, the rod-shaped bacteria are called, so the rod-shaped bacteria are called bacillus. Okay, the right answer is option A, bacillus. Then question number 17, which gas is a major pollutant of air? So carbon monoxide, the right answer is carbon monoxide is a major pollutant of air. So nitrogen, oxygen and propane, these are not the right answers. The right answer is carbon monoxide. So the carbon monoxide is produced in the factories also and also uh, from the vehicles, okay, from the vehicles due to uh, incomplete burning of the fuel. So because of this carbon monoxide is produced which is a major uh, pollutant of air, okay. The next question, 18, the removal of top layer of soil leads to? Leads to these desertification, rainfall, snowfall and deforestation. So here the right answer is option A. It leads to desertification. So desertification, what is desertification? So when the top layer of the soil is removed, then the, uh, then the hardy, uh, hardy layer or the rocky layer of the soil is exposed. This layer has got less humus and, and in this process, a fertile land is converted into a desert-like condition. Okay, so this process is known as desertification. So the right answer here is desertification. Then number 19, which of the following activity is prohibited in national parks, sensories and biosphere reserve? So here the right answer will be uh, poaching, hunting, felling tree, all of these. So all of these are prohibited or in the national parks or sanctuary as well as biosphere reserve. The next question number 20, name the areas reserved for wildlife so that they can freely use their habitats and natural resources. So here the right answer is option A, national park. So if you go to your NCRT uh, science textbook, then you will find in the, find there that the, the national park is the area reserved for wildlife where animals can use uh, freely use their habitats and natural resources. 
so this was all about the mcq part of uh, the term one science question paper of little class school of eighth standard so hope you like the video hope it was beneficial if you find it useful do share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much